हेलो चिल्ड्रेन अ वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन लेट अस कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर वन लॉज ऑफ मोशन सपोज एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन अलॉन्ग अ स्ट्रेट लाइन विथ इनिशियल वेलासिटी यू इट अटेन्स अ फाइनल वेलासिटी वी इन टाइम टी ड्यू टू एसिलेशन ए इट्स डिसप्लेसमेंट इज एस The three equations of motion can be written as first v is equal to u plus at second s is equal to ut plus half at square third 2as is equal to v square minus u square where u is equal to initial velocity v is equal to final velocity s is equal to displacement a is equal to acceleration and t is equal to time newton studied motion of an object and gave a set of three equations of motion this relate the displacement velocity acceleration and time of an object moving along a straight line let us try to obtain this equations by the graphical method equation describing the relation between velocity and time the graph shows the change in velocity with time of a uniformly accelerated object the object starts from the point d in the graph with velocity u its velocity keeps increasing and after time t it reaches the point b on the graph the initial velocity of the object u is equal to od the final velocity of the object v is equal to oc and time t is equal to oe acceleration a is equal to change in velocity upon time which is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time a is equal to oc minus od upon t therefore cd is equal to at as oc minus od is equal to cd let this be equation number 1 draw a line parallel to y axis passing through b this will cross the x axis in e draw a line parallel to x axis passing through d this will cross the line be at a from the graph be is equal to ab plus ae therefore v is equal to cd plus od as ab is equal to cd and ae is equal to od therefore v is equal to at plus u from equation number 1 rearranging the equation we get v is equal to u plus at this is the first equation of motion equation describing the relation between displacement and time let us suppose that an object is in uniform acceleration a and it has covered the distance s within time t from the graph the distance covered by the object during the time t is given by the area of quadrangle doeb therefore s is equal to area of quadrangle doeb which is equal to 
area of rectangle DOEA plus area of triangle DAB. The formula for area of rectangle is length into breadth and area of triangle is half into base into height. Therefore, S is equal to length AE into breadth OE plus half into base AB into height DA. Let this be equation number 2. But A, AE is equal to U, OE is equal to T and OE is equal to DA is equal to T. AB can also be written as small a into small t that is AT as AB is equal to CD from equation 1. Substituting the values in equation 2 we get S is equal to U into T plus half into AT into T. Therefore Newton's second equation of motion is S is equal to ut plus half at square. Equation describing the relation between displacement and velocity. We have seen that from the graph we can determine the distance covered by the object in time t from the area of quadrangle DOEB. DOEB is a trapezium so we can use the formula for its area. S is equal to area of trapezium DOEB. The formula for area of trapezium is half into sum of the lengths of parallel sides into distance between the parallel sides. Therefore, S is equal to half into OD plus BE into OE. But OD is equal to U, BE is equal to V and ODE is equal to T. Therefore, S is equal to half into U plus V into T. Let this be equation number 3. But A is equal to V minus U upon T. Therefore, T is equal to V minus U upon A. Let this be equation number 4. Substituting the value of T in equation 3, we get S is equal to half into U plus V into B minus U upon A is equal to B plus U into V minus U upon 2A. Taking the denominator to left hand side, we get 2AS is equal to B plus U into V minus U. 2AS is equal to V square minus U square as the formula A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. Rearranging the equation we get b square is equal to u square plus 2as. This is Newton's third equation of motion. Always remember, the velocity of an accelerated object changes with time. Change in the velocity can be due to a change in direction or magnitude of the velocity or both. Stay happy and stay healthy. Thank you.